I think it's important uh, to remember that this is an opportunity for you to interact with your colleagues across the state, which a lot of a lot of groups don't have. The more difficult something is, the more motivation you need to actually exhibit the behavior. So when something's hard to do, you really gotta work yourself up to do it. If, if the security or the IT team isn't trusted by the rest of the organization, if people feel like you're trying to trip them up all the time, um, then they're, they're less likely to engage. And, and that's one of the things that you really, really want with the rest of the staff is you want engagement. You want people to care about this stuff. Education at the end of the day is empowering. So my FERPA basics, whether it's 50 years old or two days old, I always tell people you cannot work in the field of education and not know what FERPA is. You cannot. I don't care whether you work in the cafeteria, if you're a bus driver, if you're the uh, janitor, you cannot. I sell it to everyone at State Ed. If someone works in the Office of Professions, that's great. You still work at the State Education Department. You have to be familiar with FERPA. Failure to plan is planning to fail. You need an incident response plan. Everybody's got a different role to play. Sounds like an old truism, right? But um, you've got educators, you know, classroom educators, you've got custodial staff, you've got the school nurse, you've got administrative stra staff in the front office. Each one of those uh, groups is going to see cybersecurity and privacy risk present itself in a different way. So sit down with them, listen to their questions, give them, you know, role specific answers um, and they will thank you for it and you will thank them at some point down the road.